So good evening, everybody. Welcome to a new human experience podcast. Today is, um, I think today is the 23rd of, um, <clears throat> today is the 23rd of June 2020. So the topic for tonight is the illusion of lack, part two. So last week we had part one. So this week, there is still something that I would like to cover about, um, about this topic of manifestation. So that's why I made this part two. So let's, um, let's check. Okay, let's check. I was just actually looking at the the chat to see um, I saw there's a comment. So, so let me just recap a little bit about last uh, week, the podcast for last week. What did we talk about? We talked about really um, how we are always manifesting or creating our reality, because most of us think that the um, reality is out there. And we are just um, walking around it and, and, and interacting with things outside of us. So, and we didn't, we don't really know that actually we manifest whatever, everything that is outside. So um, what did I mean by that? Not that we, um, I'm not saying that we actually manifest um, table, chairs, or all that. But it's just that because our what our brain does is everything is simply energy. And we actually, our brain is what um, m interprets those energy to give us experiences. So that's what I mean by we actually um, manifest everything is because when we when we think that it's out there, it's actually our brain manifest. It's really our brain interpreting energies in a way that will give us the experience of, um, let's say, a table, a chair, and all that. But if you look at it energetically, a, a table is simply energy in a certain form that gives us um like certain color, a certain take, a certain um, texture, and all of those things is really what our brain manifests. So that's what I mean that our brain actually manifests everything, and we don't, we we are not very aware of how we can interact our reality. So that's why we. Uh, that's what I mean by we are always manifesting. It's just that we are manifesting very unconsciously because we are not aware of what um, the, the reality being simply a collection of energies and energies that's being shaped by our um, intention, our thought forms and all that. So, I also mentioned how to um, manifest. So we, we went through the, the steps of manifesting. So I'm just going to recap now. The first step to manifest something is to know what you want. Know what you want to the extent um, clearly enough that you can actually visualize it. You can see it. You can smell it. You can hear certain things you can feel certain feelings and all that so really having using your imagination a hundred percent so that you're actually creating a mental image of what it is that you want to such a detail that it's um that you you all you it's like it's already done <clears throat> so that's what the step one is and then step two is really to resolve any internal conflicts that you may have of you having what it is that you want to manifest. Um, the reason why a lot of us want something, but somehow we may not find it easy to, to create it or manifest it or experience it in our life 
is because we have internal conflicts about something. For example, if I um, wanted to be an, if I wanted to to be um, to really be able to cook very good food for myself. However, if internally I have some conflicts about, oh, okay. You know, if I cook really good food, I will eat too much and I'm going to um, like, like get fat and I'll look unattractive or <clears throat> I may start to, because of eating too much, I'll start to develop, um, you know, other uh, illness that's related to me being too overweight. Then those things may be something that is internal conflict. So, so when there is some incongruence in our um, in our thinking, then that's when we the results that we get is kind of not very um, uniform. So maybe I would be able to cook something really nice one day, but the the, the next day when I try to um, cook something, the it will not turn out as nice. It will be, it will, it would not turn out as nice. So like something like that, it could be that, oh, maybe I can, um, you know, really put together something very nicely. However, <clears throat> um, maybe when I put it in the oven, it'll get burned. So, so these, these are, um, when things like that happen, when things don't really go according to, to what we want to experience and manifest, then usually it's because there is some internal conflicts that is putting, that is really making us um, have these kind of, of like some uh, or I should say uneven experiences. Sometimes it's good, sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. It will be somehow very random success that we get. It's all because of internal conflicts. And when we try to, and when we get to the point where we have resolved all the internal conflicts, then you may find that actually um, you'll be able to Think of something and really be able to experience it and feel it and, and um, manifest it outside of you. And then the, the, the third step is to really feel. Feel all the feelings that you would feel when you already have what you want. So what do I mean by that? Meaning that you're actually in the state. So in your mind, you're of the mindset that you already have what you want. It's already done. So when you're in that mindset, then from that mindset, we move on to point number four is when you're in the mindset that you already have what you desire, then start to take action that is um, inspired by you being in the state and mindset of already having what you want. And then when you take action, those action, because they are in resonance with achieving your goal, with you already having achieved your goal. So those actions, they may be small actions in comparison to the um, results that you want to have, but because they are inspired actions. So those actions actually would start to lead you step by step to the point where you actually start to manifest what it is that you want. So that in a nutshell is really what we talked about last week. So what, what I want to um, add to all this conversation about manifestation this week is to really answer some, um, I would say, some frequently um, things that frequently goes wrong or things that you need you should um, look at if assuming that you've done the, the the four steps fairly well to to manifest anything 
fairly well you know what you you know what you want you, you resolve all the internal conflicts you're feeling the feelings and you're taking action inspired action and you've done all of this but however somehow whatever it is that you want just still is not coming together for you so so to answer the questions how do you troubleshoot how do you find out what went wrong um, so I have a few ideas that you can look at and um, so first off <clears throat> the first one is I did not mention last time that we live in a shared reality and that there are some things that um, even though you you desire that but um, because we live in a shared reality there may be other people who um, may be impacted by what you want who does not want um, the reality that you desire so um, let me just give a um, an example of what I mean by that so let's say um, like a, a, a parents so two parents who who um really feel that oh the the family like they have two kids or three kids it doesn't matter like a few kids and so the house is actually getting um mm -mm, they, everybody's growing up so maybe it's time to really move to a bigger place so that you know everybody can have um more space so the parents decide to, you know, sell the place and move to a, a, a bigger house and maybe a little bit um, further out of the city so that, you know, they can, with the similar, uh, with the same amount of money or not too much more money, be able to buy a bigger and nicer place. So that's, so the parents wants to create that reality. So however um they may have trouble selling their place because why because um because i heard about this a lot of the times um from my housemate lucy is that sometimes um houses don't sell and a lot of times when she checks into the energy it's because there's someone within the house that's not ready to let it go so there may be the the even though the parents intention is for the kids to have a better environment however from the the kids point of view the kids may not want to let's say leave their friends because if they're moving further away then they will be um in a different environment it's totally different schools and they may be leaving good friends behind that they really don't want to to uh, leave or they may really like that house they have attachment to the house so they really don't want to leave the house so a lot of times then um, Lucy my housemate would need would actually need to you know clear those those energies and make sure that everyone who is currently in the house is on the same page and is ready to let go of the house so that's one example of some of the impact that we um as we want to create something that we really need to look into is you does um your desired reality your whatever it is that you want to experience how is that going to impact the people around you especially the people that is in close proximity to you if you want something however what you want may have some impact on the people around you so um that's why sometimes when you want to manifest something if you have if you've done all the 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 steps that you can do maybe you need to look at so how is you having what you want going to imp, impact the the rest of the, the the people that is immediately close to you and really look at so 
um, I'm not saying that if anyone around you don't want you to have that reality that you cannot. I'm just saying that energetically, you have to take care of that as well. Is to um, maybe what you need to do is have a conversation with them and really get agreement from those, I would say, stakeholders to make sure that what you want is not going to, uh, or I should say, it's, it's um, not going to impact the people that are close to you too adversely. So you need to get that agreement and really clean up the energy so that, um, and also give yourself uh, or maybe step back and take a look at are you sure you really want what you want? Because, um, and, and take a look at um, how what you want is going to affect the people around you and how is that going to affect you in return? So you, you need to look at that bigger picture and really get um, also start to resolve any kind of conflicts from that point of view as well. And then the next point, it kind of rolls in, into the next point is really look at why do you want what you want? Because if for sometimes, I'm not saying all the time, but sometimes the reason why you want something is actually because of some internal conflicts that has not been resolved. For example, um, somebody who wants to actually work with a client once who um, her, her mom died very young when she was very young. And so she wanted to become a nurse and she was really having trouble. Like she, she um, enrolled herself and she actually got to be the last year of, you know, studying to be a nurse. However, she's having trouble just um, getting through the last year. It's, it's all those, it's because um, a lot of the internal conflicts is that the, the reason why she wanted to be a nurse is so that she can take care of other people because she felt that she was not taken care of by her, her own mother. However, when she got to the point where she actually um, was almost able to fulfill that, that um, desire, somehow the, the internal conflicts, all of those things about being, in a way, being abandoned by her mom is stirring up so much things emotionally and she has not really looked at that and that's why when she is getting to the point where she's almost there she's almost being able to um, manifest what she wanted for her her life to become a nurse those are the the, the things that she needed to like letting go of the emotional trauma and all the attachment of thinking that her mom abandoned her. So she actually, her soul really needed her to take care of all those things first before she can actually get to the point where she can pass all the exams and find the, 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 the right job to become a nurse. So that's what I mean by you have to really look at um, it's a way to really look at any unresolved internal conflicts. Um, sometimes those, those internal conflicts may be so unconscious that you don't even know. So, so when, she, when, we, when I worked with my client, we start to you know, um, figure out or tease out why she want what she want we actually figured out that, that it's all because of the unresolved emotions about her and her um, mom passing away when she was really young. So when she actually, when we actually worked on resolving all of that, it actually frees her up to be able to concentrate on 
getting past the exams and all those things. So um, there's usually some internal conflicts. It's just that sometimes when we are so um, removed from or, or so unconscious about the trauma, even though it's something that happened such a long time ago, like it was over 20 years ago that her mom died. So she thought she has gone through all of that. However, it, she has not really done a good enough job yet. So, so when she's almost getting to that point, it all came up. Everything just blew up in her face. So when you find it hard to, or when you are so close, but somehow it's just not there yet, then um, a good way to look at it is really to go back and dig deeper into why do you want what you want? Is there any unresolved internal conflicts that may be tied into why you want what you want? And when you start to resolve those um, no issues, and emotional issues that you have not quite dealt with yet, you'll find that your manifestation is going to speed up and you actually get there. So the third point uh, or the th third things that um, you may want to look at is if you have worked on something um, for such a long time, let's say if you, if you have always wanted to be um, let's say a good gardener, I'm just giving an example. If you have always wanted to be a great gardener, gardener and, you know, or, or, um, and so you wanted to be, you know, the, the, the best at designing gardens, how to, um, work with, with plants and all that. Like when you have worked on manifesting a goal, let's say the goal of being an excellent gardener and you've been doing it for such a long time and not succeeding in your mind. You, you haven't succeeded yet. It's not good enough yet. You're still not good enough yet. So let's say if you want to, um, you know, become a, a CEO of the company and you have worked for 20, 30 years for that position. So when you have so many um, or so much attachment to getting to that um, goal, sometimes it actually works against you because you, you have actually, um, for as long as you have had the goal, you have also built up the resistance as well, because when you want something and you're not there yet, you're actually putting up the vibration of lack. You're actually piling on the, the, the vibration of I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. And when you have, let's say 10, 20 years of, I am not there yet. I'm, I, I don't have it yet. Then that. I'm not there yet. I can't have it yet. That becomes an identity. And there's so much energy being tied up and so much um, attachment that it actually becomes a, a block, a blockage. So too much effort in trying too hard to make something happen actually works against you. So how do you correct that? So I know it's, um, it's not going to, you're not going to like it when I tell you how, what is the best way to do it? Because it's exactly the thing that you are not ready to do is to really let go. Let go of ever achieving that. Let go of wanting and, and all that. And just um, let go. And go in and really um, go into the mindset, going through your thinking is to start to get to neutral. Because the mindset of I cannot be happy until I have that go works against you because the, um, it actually makes it harder for you 
to when you actually let go and get to neutral, it becomes easier for you to achieve your goal rather than I don't have it and I cannot be happy until I have it. That mindset actually lowers your vibration. When you get to the point where I want it, I love it. However, I'm even if I don't have it, my life is still wonderful. I still have um, so many other things in my life. I'm still grateful. It's just that this is one more thing. So when you can get to neutral, when you can get to, yes, I love it. I want to have it. However, if I don't have it, it's also okay because um, life is not just about having that one go. Life is just wonderful no matter what. So when you can get, if you can get to that neutrality of, yes, I want it, but life is all still so wonderful if I don't as well. When you can get to that and let go, actually you freeze up so much of your um, precious energy that you find that you can actually make, you can finally get that go. So that's point number three. So the next point is actually a little tied um, into this one as well, is the next one, point number four, is that um, have a compelling vision for all areas of your life. When you are trying to manifest something, don't just have a vision of, um, let's say what you want in your career, because a lot of people focus on like finance and career because we have been as a, I would say as a um, humanity has been so focused on material things that, so one of the ways that we can get all the material things that makes us feel s secure is career and finance. So there's so much being, emphasis on that is that it actually um, makes it harder for us to get to financial freedom or being happy in our career. When you actually can just zoom out and not just create a, a goal or compelling vision for one or two areas of your life is to actually create a vision of all for all areas of your life so that you can live a well-balanced all around wonderful life because when you have that it actually allows you to uh, or i should say it actually makes it um easier for you to get into the mindset of um, being neutral because you already um like if you have an all-round vision of how you want your life to be, your life, the life that you're trying to create will be very balanced and you will not get into um, the mindset of, if I don't have it, I cannot be happy. So, so that means you can actually, it's much easier for you to maintain a high vibration in your life as well. So don't just have goals in one or two areas of your life. Create your whole life, all 360 degrees of your life. Have not just your finance, not just career, but relationship, family, um, your health, your um, social life, all areas of your life so that you have a... Um, a well-rounded, well-balanced life. And when you work on that, when you focus on not just one or two areas, but all areas of your life, you actually would be able to make decisions and, um, and even create goals that will support you to have a well-balanced life not just a life that will give you all the material things, but none of the um, like relational 
and, and spiritual or emotional fulfillment. Because a lot of the times we find that some people are really good at making money, but their relationship um, life or the family life sucks. It's because they are lopsided. They don't know how to create a, a 360 degree, degrees full life vision. And when you, from the outset, create a complete vision of what your life should be like, then you're not just getting a goal. You're not just manifesting a goal. You're not just creating a goal. At the end of it, you actually would be able to create and manifest a wonderful life so that it supports you to um, really stay in high vibration and you won't get too bogged down when you when you when one or two things in your life is not quite working yet you won't be um like so it's it's not as easy for you to get the all the resistance so when you when life is already good then it's much easier for you to shift out and get into neutral into neutrality and actually make it much easier for you to achieve all the goals that you have set for yourself so that's that's the uh, point number four so number five is that sometimes your soul just puts obstacles in your way for for you to learn because we as souls we come here there are certain experiences that we have set out that we want to we want to accomplish and even though um the timeline is much more flexible now however there are still some things in that your soul really wants you to get so and that may not be exactly lined up with what you consciously want to create so that's why sometimes your soul may put obstacle in your way so that you there are some goals that you really want to to achieve however it's taking you longer because you have to go through all the lessons that your soul wanted you to learn. And if you just, you know, manifest it, then you actually skipped the, the process of all the learnings that you're going to um, experience on the way to achieving your goal. So sometimes your soul just won't give you any shortcut. So for example, um, I remember hearing Marina mention Marina. Um, Marina's son has um, some sort of, I think it's um, lactose intolerance or, or, or um, celiac, which is really um, not being able to digest certain types of food properly so and it was not di diagnosed yet um, for for the longest time the the doctors really don't know what it was until she found out and and so she went through the journey of um working with different herbalists in order to to heal her son and and really and that was quite the journey. Even though she was already um, being guided and, and, and channeling the, the, the Council of Nine, and even though um, it's actually very possible that, that the, the Council of Nines or other energies that she has, she's working with could have just healed her son. However, they didn't do that because she, her soul needed her to learn how to go through that healing journey so that when she works with other people, she can help other people through that healing journey as well. So it's her learning um, journey that she needed to learn that so that she can help other people through it as well. So when there are certain um, lessons that your soul needs you to learn, then 
you just have to go with it. You just have to do whatever it is that um, you are being guided. And it may take a little longer. However, just know that it's sometimes there is a reason why your manifestation or your creation is taking such a long time. So that's my fifth reason and the last one that i want to offer all of you is the it's really mindset it's to really start to if you're having trouble manifesting what you want is to go back to your mindset because um so the mindset is that whatever you desire whatever you want to create or manifest have the mindset that it's already done because a lot of the times the I, I find that for myself is like oh yeah I wanted to be for the longest time I want to be a good healer I want to learn how to heal like um like what um, Jesus can do so that was really my motto is I want to be able to heal people like that so so but the my mindset is that um I don't know how to do it so I'm just so so i want to learn so so the however the mindset tweak is is really that whatever it is that you desire to create or manifest it's already done it's already done and it already exists in a parallel reality so what you are doing or what the actions that you're taking is simply the actions to getting you in the state to be able to shift into the reality that you already have what you desire so that really is the the, the switch in mindset is so it is really a mindset that to know that it's already done so it's a knowing that whatever you desire it's already done and all you're doing is to follow the breadcrumbs that your soul is leading you is um, when you're in the state that it's already done, it's just that you haven't, you're not seeing it in your reality yet. So in some reality, it's already done. So all you're de doing is really take some action and then until the next step reveals itself then you take action that step and then the next and then the next and when you get when you really take action from the the mindset that it's already done i am just um following the 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 steps just following the breadcrumbs to shift into that reality then it's a completely different mindset. It's a mindset of having and being rather than a mindset of, I don't have it yet. It's instead of a mindset of lack. So those six tweaks in mindset, in looking at the um, manifestation and looking at your whole life as a whole rather than just one or two goals so those these six shifts is something that you can start to tweak whenever it is you feel that you're um you're having trouble to manifest or create your desired reality